If you did the challenge in the previous video, you now have two text views. One text view is in the top left corner and the other is in the top right, but something cool isn't quite right. When we ran the app, we only saw the text view that was in the upper left hand corner. Actually, they're both there. It's just that the one you had put on the top right has moved to the top left. And so one text view is actually overlaying another. If you look at the layout in Android Studio, you'll notice that the text view, which says hello moon, has some squiggly lines around it in the blueprint view. And you might recall that the hello moon text view did appear in the correct place when you ran the app. The squiggly lines indicate rules. These rules are added to a layout to define how and where a view should be placed on a given screen. The blueprint view shows all the rules on a layout, but you can see the specific rules for a specific view by hovering your cursor over the view in the layout preview as well. So placing items is a matter of following rules. Let's add some to our project. Here I have our project open and I have activity main.xml selected. Let's start working with rules. Hover your mouse over the hello moon text view in the preview. You'll notice we get a bubble which reads act compat text view. Next, hover your cursor over the text view in the top left corner in the preview. Notice there are no rules associated with it. The bubble has just the text view's name in it. Click on the text view. You'll see a blue outline appear around the text view and the outline should have four circles along each side. These circles are what you will use to create rules which define the position of the view. Hover your cursor over the left circle for the text view. A create connection bubble will appear. Click and drag your cursor towards the left edge of the screen. Your view will move a little bit towards the left, but if you release the mouse button, you'll see that the connection has been made. Now move the text view back so that it stays in place. The rules will stay in place, but will also adjust the new position. Let's do the same for the top edge to align the text view with the top edge of the screen. Finally, let's do the same for the text view in the right hand corner. Now run the app. And this time both text views are exactly where we want them. If you switch to the text view, you can also see them added to the XML file. Congratulations, you've created your first layout rules. You can also see your rules visually in the preview and the blueprint view, but you can also see and modify these rules in the panel to the right. This panel shows the attributes or properties for the currently selected item. For example, select a text view. You'll see that it shows all the properties for the text view, including its properties color and its position. The Attributes panel provides a lot of features. First, you can search for a specific attribute by using the search button. You can also see the rules we've added to the view at the top of the panel. Notice that the rules have a plus sign on the right and bottom. That's just another way to add rules to that control. You'll also notice that when I hover the mouse over my existing rules, I get an editable box which I can use to change them. Clicking the two arrows shows more of your XML attributes in the table, but clicking it back provides your interface again. 